When you think of a strong and powerful telescope, we have several of those on Earth. When you think of a strong and powerful telescope in space, there's one, the Hubble Space Telescope. But the new one, the James Webb Telescope, will be even farther out in space than the moon. How far will it be? And let's talk about that new telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope launched on April 25, 1990, and after decades of planning and designing, it finally went into orbit with the idea that it could be repaired or worked on if needed. The James Webb Space Telescope will launch soon, and it's designed to last for up to 10 years, hopefully without any major issues since it'll be at Lagrange Point 2, otherwise known as L2. So where will the telescope be? Point L2 is a distance much farther away than the Hubble Space Telescope is. Hubble is about 340 miles away from Earth in its orbit. The moon, a little bit farther away than that. But for point L2, that is one million miles away from the Earth. And it's in an interesting position because at that point, it always stays in constant orbit with the Earth. It doesn't accelerate or decelerate as the Earth is orbiting the Sun and we're always in communica communication with it. Plus, after launch, hopefully it won't take too long, but 30 days it'll take to reach point L2. The JWST can see in the infrared light spectrum and will give us an even deeper look at the early galaxies that formed in the beginning of the universe. It will also answer questions astronomers have asked about how our universe works and will probably surprise us with things we haven't even thought of yet. Webb will pick up with gold colored light, it absorbs everything bluer than that because the mirrors are actually coated in gold and reflects red light and infrared light out to where we're seeing the heat from the stars and galaxies in the distant universe. By working together, Hubble and Webb will give us a multicolor picture of the universe. I heard one interesting analogy. This telescope is powerful enough to see the city lights on Earth if it was orbiting at the edge of our solar system looking in. Within 30 days, a telescope will reach point L2, and shortly after that, I hope we'll get some amazing images and science coming from the spacecraft.